All right, Shalom, Rastafari, greetings. This is the beginning of the, the seventh of the high holy days, um, seasons of the Moedim of Yahweh, Eloheinu, of the King of Kings, the Gusten Negas, Karamawi, Haile Selassie, I and I, Father, in and through the name of our Black Lord and Savior, the Moshiach, Yeshua, Gitai Yesus, Christos, the, the Christ, even Christ in his kingly character. I know that the way to the Father's house, based on the good news of the King of Kings, is in and through his Son. He oversent in and through our black Lord and Savior, Shua HaMoshiach. But it's not just because he's black, you know, but because he is true. You understand? Because he's a life-giving spirit. He took on I and I sinful flesh. Now this is the in gathering and we have a wonderful series of, um, of, of, of lectures, not even lectures in that sense, I'll call it a sermon. You understand a sipkat on the importance of Sukkot, right, which is Yadas Ba'al. So we present this, you understand, and hopefully we'll be able to upload this onto um, Ethiopian World Net. As many of you know, we've had um, certain haters and provocateurs, other things, you know, these are the things that we rejoice and be exceedingly glad about. But so that ones and ones will know, you understand, where to kind of link with us in the forward movement. We're not going to just like hold our breath and, and depend on um, the arm of flesh, but the Holy Spirit said, go forward. So we have Rastafari Sabbatical, Sabbatical, thick, T-H, Sabbatical. The YouTube's channel for the Rastafari, the Torah portions, the Metzav Kedus, the real, um, the real core curriculum. We call it the core curriculum. Also, just in case whatever happens with Ethiopian World Net, so this is both a greeting as well as a continual reminder while we have an opportunity. You understand, but we're mainly broadcasting on Rastafari Sabbatical, right? The YouTube's channel. Um, that's called Rastafari Sabbatical. So once again, we want to just greet ones on this Sukkot, and we was like looking for, is there a particular greeting? And, and, and we go into the details about this, plus on the Rastafari Sabbatical, there is Rastafari spirituality. It connects intimately with this ingathering, right, with this ingathering, the Rastafari ingathering, as we prepare to come out of this North Country, to come out of this spiritual Egypt, we speak about repatriation and about exodus. But the core curriculum is Torah. And the real key is the Shabbat or the Sendet. And this is, this is one of the, the, the annual Shabbats, right? One of the annual Shabbats. Every holy day is a Shabbat. Then we have the weekly Shabbat. So we still keep in the Shabbat so that once we'll understand exactly you saying from the memorial, Metasebiya, to the prophetic, the Tinbitawi. Please stay tuned for the other series of posts that hopefully, if you're watching this on Ethiopian World Net, you need to either pause it or come back to this vid. Go to Ethiopian World Net 911. And just, just subscribe. It's free. You understand? But you need to support the route. You know, you wouldn't go to a restaurant in that sense. You know, I'll go somewhere and eat and not support that house or, or, or those who has fed you freely. Yovas, and the support does not have to be only in so-called monetary means. And stay tuned for us doing a CSI on the money. Yovas, and you really have to look at that. We don't even know what name we're going to call it. Maybe Rastafari versus the international monetary system or the dollar bill. We, we really break that down. Yovas, and so ones can really overstand that even if you trust in these dollars and cents, Yovas, as many want to get rich, and, and there's nothing wrong with prosperity. In fact, there's a particular, let's see if we can get this right here, for Sukkot. If you go to the, the, the page on the um, Internet, there's the Hoshana Raba, right, which is usually for the seventh day of Sukkot, and that's known as the Hoshana, the, the, the Hoshana. Hoshana, you understand? In the words, save us. The Hoshiana, the Hoshana. You understand? That's what they said to Yeshua HaMoshiach when he came into um, 
when he came into uh, Jerusalem riding on the donkey. You know, and they said, save us. Now, this comes from Psalm 118. And there's a particular key um, metasebia, uh, um, a memorial, reminder. Some might call it a mantra and other um, spiritualities and disciplines, so forth and so on. We might use that just so that one's as a placeholder so one can understand that a mantra really is a protection of the mind. So it's the Torah, it's the Mesmur Dawit, you understand, as well as the proverb, which are basic, and, and don't take this any way, but they're basic kindergarten. You understand, because we're born again. We're not born big. You know, something's wrong when you're born big. We're born as, as little children. So there's things that we need to know so we can grow up to him in all things. We're already in the Adi Zemin. But, of course, we're not living the way we should be living in the Adi Zemin, according to the scripture. It's not Father's, it's not Abba's fault, right? It's not Yeshua's fault. You know what I'm saying? It's not the Samaya Samayat's fault. You know what I'm saying? The heaven of heaven's fault. But it's really because we are part of that 40-year generation, right, in the wilderness. We are a new generation. I call this the Yeshua generation or the Joshua generation of Aras Tesari. Don't allow any novices, any so-called upstarts to take you away from the teaching of His Majesty. You understand the teaching of His Majesty is the simplicity of Christ. You see the directness of it. Sometimes it's so simple, so direct, and, and we miss it like that. Because we're looking for something, you know, with bells and whistles. You understand? But bells and whistles are all right, but not in this. This is some basic foundation. Let's, so let's understand this. Um, the, the Hoshana Raba, right? Which means the great supplication, right? So we're in the wilderness right here of the Americas. We as the once lost but now found bait to Israel, along with the righteous among the, among the Gentiles, among the non-Ethiopian um, Hebrew black people, Yovas, and we must recognize to receive them in the Wengel and the good news of the King of Kings and His Christ. But there are core curriculums we need to learn. So we're using this crisis as an opportunity. You understand what's the crisis in the Ethiopian world now? And we're going to keep broadcasting mainly, you know, mainly on Rastafari sabbatical. But check in and subscribe to um, Ethiopian World Net 911. There's some particular postings there. So we're, be we're beginning to really organize I and I self as we're growing in the teaching of His Majesty and His Christ. Begin to recognize and work and find our resources. And we're putting this message out to the I them to support the root, you know, so that we can grow and, and, and can branch properly. You know, so stay tuned for the f following post. And if they're not here, you understand, um, say within hopefully a couple of hours after this is posted, hopefully all of them will be also posted as well. So stay tuned. So two channels right now to update. And we have some more messages that's going to remind ones and ones who want to do our best just to remind ones and ones who are really interested. You understand, though there's thousands, we think that there's still a remnant, right? So here's the word right here. For this particular, this day is marked by a special service in which seven circuits are made by the worshipers holding the four species. But this is recited, and this is good, this, this psalm, Psalm 118, right? So we're going to just say the key verse, 118 and um, 25. You know, send for I and I, brothers and, this, and sisters in this memorial of Sukkot, right? And check the following videos, Rastafari Sabbatical, look for Rastafari Spirituality. We go into more of why Sukkot, the in-gathering, also called Tabernacles, is very important, especially as we look forward to entering into this millennial reign of the King of Kings and His Christ. Really, it is I and I, the children, that have to grow up, you know, and become worthy of the kingdom authority. And the worthiness means to know what his way is and have faith in him and to walk in it. All right, so here we go, one, one, one eighteen twenty five, And here's the, here's, the key, here's, here's the key. It says, Save now, I beseech thee, Abba, I father his father, O father, Abba, 
of his house. I bid to, I beseech, I implore the eye. Send now prosperity. You see, because there's a lot of different ways ones and ones think that we're supposed to be getting prosperity. But they're, they're, they're forgetting what, what Hage um, 2 and 8 says, that the silver and the gold is mine. Say if Yahweh, Yod Hey Wow Hey, He who be who He be, His divine Majesty. The silver and the gold is His. You know what I'm saying? So we have to go to source. You, you know, if you want life, you should go to the life giver. If you if you want health, you should go to the healer. You know what I'm saying? Go to the source. So if you want wealth, you go to the blesser, and you learn what it means. You see all this bless up, bless up stuff. You know what I'm saying? People can say that. But that's not really of his children. That's not in his order. They say it's not right to cast the children's bread to dogs. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a child, then you want to know what's in your father's will and his testament. You know what I'm saying? What, what is part of the inheritance? You know what I'm saying? And that's what we say about the Metzhaf Kedus, the, the Bible basically on the kindergarten, right? The kindergarten Judahite version or Judah version, the King James Bible, KJV. Now we're into the Metzhaf Kedus of His Imperial Majesty. But still, at the level you are at, learn, grow. You understand? Grow up to Him in all things. So, Kutara Hayamis says, Abitu, Ibaku, Ahun Adin, Ahun, now Adin, say. Now, it's interesting because if you look in the, in the um, Hebrew, this is the root of the whole shah and na. You understand? Know in other words, save, or the idea implied is to save I and I. You understand? Know and Yeshua HaMoshiach is the salvation of his imperial majesty. Gitachin na methanatachin Jesus Christos. Make no doubt about it. You understand? Know Why did Bob cry? You understand? Know Bob cried because he knew that many you know what I'm saying, would miss that mark, and that he, at the end, he did not so-called die or went to the spirit world as not a Rastafari. He went as a true Rastafari, not just because of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, you know what I'm saying, even though that was the key, and that is, still is the key. If you understand his majesty, his imperial majesty, our divine majesty, but it's because of the testimony of Yeshua HaMoshiach. You understand? Read His Majesty's words for yourself. So, once again, Degana, right? And Degana mean again, it says, I beg to Ibaka, Ibaka, I beg the I, right? Ahun, now, Aden, I beg to Ibaka, Ahun, Akena, Akena, Akena means, you know, Akena is just like, say, it's in some of Kana, like we say, Kana Bosa. Or, or, you know, we, we speak about the cannabis or the cannabis, and then you know the hemp stalk, it grows up, it, it grows, shoots up tall and straight. The idea of akana is to straighten it out. You know what I'm saying? Make it straight. You know what I'm saying? But in the overstanding of it, the translation here is very good in the um, King James, in I and I Kindergarten Judahite version of the King James Bible, where it says, Send now, right? Send now. Prosperity. In other words, now straighten, right? Ahun Akna. Now straighten out I and I ways, right? Because this is the day that the King of Kings, he will be who he be, his divine majesty has made. And for the next seven days, though we don't make booths, we're like dwelling like the Israelites were in the wilderness anyway. In the majority of us, it's like we're in a kind of a booth in a sense. Itself in the wilderness. It's not really a permanent place for I and I. So learn the 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 mystery, the beautiful divine mystery of His Imperial Majesty in the Sukkot, in the Das Baal, the Gutes, the Kwankwa, the Metzalet, the Lasana Gutes, the Metzalet. All right, brothers and sisters. So once again, we say Shalom, Rastafari. Stay tuned. Download, archive these videos as, as you're able to, you understand, or, you know, try to repost it elsewhere, you know, because, um, you know, we got to redeem the time. Days are evil. 
but to trust in the King of Kings, trust in His Christ, trust in the way, the truth, and the life, because whom the Son has set free is free indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. In a ras yadinos tefari, I am Wendem Yado of the line of Judah Society of the Imperial Majesty, and we are broadcasting now on Ras Tefari or Ras Tefari Sabbatical, and as a backup site that some of the brothers and sisters have 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 helped us and assist us to to get as a as a reserve is the Ethiopian World Net 911. So go there. Subscribe there. Like we said, it's free. You understand? So whatever happens here or there, you understand? Just stay in tune. All right, brothers and sisters. So once again, Shalom Ras Tefari. And uh, an Amelkam Sukkot, or the Metasebiya of the Das Ba'al. It's a reminder. Think about this for the next seven days. Shalom Ras Tefari.